universe. Mm -hmm. Is there another me in every one of them? Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, some of them may have died, of course, uh, but there, uh, you are, you, your parents, as long as you have that thought, okay, you will create a parallel universe and you will exist for a period of time in each of these parallel universes. The question is, how do you exist? In other words, what are the options? What is your life like? Who is with you? Some people in your life right now will not be with you. Some of them will. Uh, and you'll meet new people. So uh, uh, that's what parallel universes would like. But, you know, I, I, I want to uh, give a little segue here. I did a little tease in the beginning of the show, and I want to give you your present now. Uh, you're going to do it now? Yeah. This is, this is your present. This is, this is, because uh, it relates to this. This relates to the whole point of this, the destiny and, and you know, the accustomed design your own destiny, the parallel universe. This relates to the idea of manifesting your own karmic purpose. And I want to discuss a little bit with you and someone that's very dear to you, as you knew very well. So I meditated on that. I did a super conscious mind tap. And my higher self told me, because I read about your, your late relative, Shafika. This is, okay. this is, your, this is your, your surprise, okay? And my higher self told me to just check her out on the internet, you know, on Google. And because you, you mentioned a little bit about her. And I did, and she wrote a book called uh, Breakthroughs into Creativity, <laughs> which I purchased, okay? And I wanted to read you just a quickly, this is the, this is the dedication to uh, uh, Breakthroughs into Creativity. This book is dedicated to humanity that it may awaken to its future destiny and reach out to explore the inner and outer spaces of the superconscious state. Your late Anne talked about not only the superconscious mind, she talked about zapness, which what we call energy vampires, what you might call the shadow people. She talked about ETs of the government conspiracy. Here's a quote. They're here. We know about them. The government knows about them. She talked about parallel universes and did research in this. This was a very... I, I only... My regret in life is that I didn't know her when she was alive. Oh, of course she would have loved her. Well, years we, ahead of her. We, we would have, years. We would have had conversations going into the eons here. Well, here's the thing. Well, when, I, when I read Work for the Light, I didn't just read the section you wrote about me. I read the whole book. And we talked about this a little bit uh, last year about how one of your exercises, there was, you were at some sort of a party, and there was this girl who was being hit on old by all these media types, and radio people, whatever, and, and you actually did a form of psychic protection, but also a form of psychic attack. Right? Remember that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, interesting enough, the two future lives is next to Monterey in about 100 years, and New York in about 1,500 years, deals with the concept of psychic self-defense and protection techniques. And you're very big on that. I mean, you, it, it's a real part of the karmic cycle, I think. So there is karmic self, uh, psychic, psychic. self-defense, and there is parallel universes and so forth, all on my spirit radio. <laughs> my spirit radio picks up um, it tends to pick up programs on the psychic self to well this is nothing this is just a little testing that's the, the whole device works th together yeah. Yeah, it all is. so it's all about uh, parallel universes and my parallel universe device picks up radio shows about parallel universes it tends <laughs> to do that okay I'm gonna go back to work all right